Today we are going to see how to onboard uh, authentication logs of a Linux operating system to do to these Splunk. So in my case, I have installed my uh, Splunk uh, application on Ubuntu machine. So I'm getting the uh, onboarding the logs of Ubuntu machine. And uh, in my case, we don't have to install any uh, data forwarder because we are just selecting the file from that machine only where the uh, my Splunk installed. So in this case, we have to just to specify the path of that file and we can get access of that. So I am going to add that file. So just have to click on data inputs and file and directories. As I already told you, we are not selecting, we are not installing any um, data forwarder to get the logs from uh, machine because we are getting the authentication logs of my Splunk installed Ubuntu machine only. So the authentication logs of uh, Linux machine will be stored in the directory slash variable slash log uh, slash authentication log file. So we just we have to select that file uh, directory. In variable directory we are going to see we are going to see the log file log directory. Let me see. Okay, this is the log directory. In this, we have to select the authentication log dot file. So this is the file where authentication logs of Linux operating system will be get stored. So select this file, select this path, and we are going to continuously monitor this file. And uh, we have to click on next, and we have to select the uh, source type of the file because this is the uh, file format suitable file format for the authentication log <coughs> okay so for uh, authentication log we are selected the directory as variable slash log so we are going to select this file format for this uh, analyzing this uh, authentication log file so select this file uh, format and this then click on next Post field value is the name of the machine from where we are going to get the data. So I have installed Splunk on my Ubuntu machine and from there itself I am getting the authentication log. So I have given the name as Splunk. And we have to specify index. You can select any index or we can you can create any also. Any name of index. So I have created a uh, index as called Linux. So I am going to select this one. Let us review what are the configurations we have selected. So we are going to continuously monitor that file and uh, the path of that file is uh, uh, variable log slash authentication log and we are going to continuously monitor this file and this is the uh, file format which we have selected for this authentication log file and the this is the app uh, context and host name I, I have given as plum and index as Linux where the my authentication logs will be get stored okay. as you can see we are uh, able to see the authentication logs which are stored in the file authentication log okay source as you can see uh, slash where slash log authentication log so let us confirm whether we are selected correct file or not so for that we have I am going to take access uh, uh, of, of my Ubuntu machine. I am getting my wrong, uh, I am entering the wrong credentials so that we can get the failed login log. So I have selected user as Farhan, which is not existing in that uh, Ubuntu machine. So the, and I am entering the password so that we can get let me create a duplicate session it is not working okay i am getting the i am getting we are going to get a failed log for the farhan user as it is not exist so i am entering the username and password fake username and password so that we can get the failed log as you can see access denied so let us see the log against it as you can see the time and the username as Farhan 
so invalid user because it is this user is not exist so let us take uh, one more uh, access let us take uh, try to get one more failed off i am going to take duplicate session one more and i am going to now access from farhan to this is also a fake uh, user so let us see again a fair lock for the user for a hand okay as you can see we can able to get the fair log against the for a because it is an invalid user okay we can analyze uh, we can analyze this uh, fields okay this uh we can analyze this uh, logs by extracting the fields so to extract uh, new fields these are the few uh, these are the fields which are extracted from this uh, file these logs so we can manually do extraction also we can do manually authentication or we can do manual analyzation or extract uh, ex extract to field so that we can analyze the data so let us do we have to select log and uh, we are selecting the expression as regular because it is uh, not having any expression it is having expression as space uh, okay so let us select so to extract any field just you have to click on the value for that we are going to extract i am entering this as user so that we can get uh, as you can see the user in this log as for han to in this as a root in this as a refer han so it's going to select the <coughs> value for that field and let me select one more i am going to select failed password for invalid user so i am going to select this as the reason to get uh, the invalid uh, to get uh, access denied so i'm going to select this as a field so i'm going to select this field extract this field as a reason for not getting the access so i have extracted one more field as uh, okay this field i have selected as reason so actually i should select from here let me see okay so it will be not that much as you can see i have selected partial uh, uh, field let me remove it so that we can get the so that we can see the uh, data failed password for invalid user so now i am going to extract this as a field as a reason to not get access field name must start okay as i have given the space giving me notification as you can see the reason is selected and it is highlighted as a invalid user for han to from so this is the reason we are going uh, we, we are going to analyze the data with the extension because by extracting fields manually it will be very difficult to analyze data when we are having different types of fields different type of uh, logs so for that reason we are going to uh, add the extension so for that we have to select app manage apps i have already installed i have already downloaded extension in my this machine so i'm going to get just select that file to all app from file because i have already installed that uh, linux extension you have to download from the chrome so my linux extension is let me see where it is it is in the file folder here let me see what happened so i have installed already i uh, have downloaded the extension so let me select that extension okay so i have installed the i have downloaded uh, this plunk uh, linux extension so just we have to select that 
so splunk add-on for windows so this is the uh, linux splunk uh, sorry linux extension uh, we are going to select so we are going to add this extension so that we can analyze that data easily so i am selected and let us upload great app checking this All right okay. it will take time to upload uh, that extension so basically we add the extension because to analyze the data easily as you uh, as we can see as we are already seeing that uh, it get difficult to manually extract the fields and uh, it will be not easy to analyze that data because the uh, whenever we extract the fields manually it will be difficult to analyze data because that fields will be not selected correctly okay let us see you must set up your app before you can use it so this is how we can uh, in uh, add extension also so this is all about uh, accessing the uh, log uh, onboarding the logs authentication logs from the linux machine and uh, adding the extension for that so thank you guys